Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give some details about a coding test interview recently conducted in February 2024. Yeah, here there's a print 1 to 10 with two threads, like a thread 1 prints 1 and thread 2 prints 2. Again, thread 1 again prints 3. It's like sequential printing of thread and two. So first they will ask some questions about uh, threads. So if like mostly uh, multi-threading synchronization, noti what is notify, what is wait. So uh, how the threads can be implemented. So these are the simple questions they want answered. But if based on that questions, so interview may choose this coding test in threads. Okay, let me open the Eclipse now. Here is the Eclipse open now. So during the coding interview also, they also ask some questions about uh, 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 coding like what is notify, what is wait, and how, what is the synchronization, and in what way you can implement the threads. I'm right I'm writing this printing function. First, I'm writing print, printing function, then so it's the divider divisible by two number and you get the reminder. So that's the logic. And if the reminder is zero, it's even number. If the reminder is one, it's odd number. That's the logic. And also um, for a safe side, I'm just keeping the name of the threads so that I will pass the name from the main, the name of the thread from the main so that I'm just equating with the thread name also. That's the extra check. Here the most important is a wait and notify. So uh, the concept is that when other one thread is modifying the content, that other thread should know about it, the modification content, so that when the second thread accessing it, so we are notifying it and then making wait. 
so that the next thread will read the updated content. That's a main concept for notify and wait. writing and instantiating the object and then calling the first thread this looks like it's hang just a minute anonymous class and implementing runnable here so, so yeah this is a public wire run to be implemented now actual business function i'm calling it now here in run so that the thread will as soon as it start it will call the run method and then call the business method This is for thread one and I'm just going to do it for thread two as well.
now I'm setting the thread names here and then starting. Okay. Yeah, it looks like uh, the problem is not synchronized, so I'm going to add a synchronize to the method so that it can notify and wait. Oh, the problem is printing one. Yeah, that's the problem with the loop. I just violated well, with condition, but you need to do the loop. Yeah, okay, it's looping, so I think the counter. You need to increment the counter and then. Yeah, here it's printing now. Just make sure the synchronize notify wait. These are the things to be notified uh, no, noted down, and just the rest of the things are is very normal and it's easy. So created a two two threads implemented run method call the business method from the run method set the names and then start the threads hope you like this video Thanks for watching.